Welcome to the exit ticket for lesson 10, writing and interpreting inequality statements involving rational numbers. Uh, so here we have a collection of data uh, that is referring to the amount of hours that uh, different people sleep every night. Uh, it is always compared, as we can see in the rightmost column, uh, we can see that they compare the hours of sleep that each of the individuals mentioned to eight hours. Some of them sleep more than eight hours, some of them sleep less than eight hours, and that's represented by a positive number, such as you see in this uh, for Frankie, uh, eight and a half, 8.5 hours, is 0 0.5 hours more than eight. Uh, Mr. Fields sleeps seven hours, which is one hour less, represented by a negative number. So we can see that each of these people has a differing amount. Um, notable is uh, down for Tiffany, we see that we have fractions. Uh, it's the same information, it's just represented in fraction form. Question A says, plot and label each of the numbers in the rightmost column of the table above on the number line below. Okay, rightmost column. Uh, that means that I am referring simply to this column right here i am not using the numbers in the middle column i'm using only the numbers uh, in the column titled compared to eight hours it says rightmost column so let's make sure that we graph the correct numbers uh, so let me think about how am i going to graph this i have a number line i have so many spaces already there for me uh, and i need to graph numbers including zero uh, including positive 1.5 right there, uh, negative 1.0 seems to be the smallest, and then I have to know that negative 1 fourth is actually equal to negative 0 0.25. Uh, so uh, the lowest number is negative 1, and the greatest number is 1.5. So I know that ordering these numbers by 0 0.25 is probably going to be the way to go. Uh, so let me just make sure that at the end I can squeeze in my 1.5. So let me make sure that goes last. And then I want to determine uh, going back. So I know that if I go by 0 0.25, going back two spaces uh, is going to be a half. So that's going to be 1.0. Uh, I know 0 0.25 going back four spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's where my 0 is going to be. So let me go ahead and fill in the rest of this. 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1.25. I have represented my positive numbers. Uh, now going to the negative numbers is a matter of mirroring the information that I just input. Negative 0 0.75, negative 1.0. Uh, all right, I uh, got my numbers in there. Uh, so now I can go ahead and put a dot or plot my points. Uh, starting from the top, Frankie is 0 0.5. Mr. Field is negative 1.0. Carla is 1.5. Lewis is 0. 0 meaning he doesn't sleep more than 8 hours or less than 8 hours. He sleeps exactly 8 hours. And then we have Tiffany at negative 0 0.25. Uh, let me go ahead and do some labeling. I'll just use their first initial. So that would be for Frankie, negative 1.0. Uh, Mr. Fields, I'll go ahead and use an M since F is already used. Carla, 1.5. K for Carla. L for Lewis at 0. And T for Tiffany at negative 0 0.25, also known as negative 1 fourth. Uh, question B, list the numbers from least to greatest. Wonderful, I already have these on the number line, so I just have to start on the left, starting with negative 1.0, going to Tiffany. I want to represent it as a fraction because that's the way it was originally provided to me. If I put negative 0 0.25, that's technically not wrong, uh, but I just want to remain consistent with the uh, math problem. Uh, 0 0.5 and 1.5. All right, numbers are listed from least to greatest. And now question C, using my answer from part B and inequality symbols, inequality symbols. Let's not forget inequality symbols are 
the greater than, the less than, the greater than or equal to, the less than or equal to. Uh, there are other symbols that represent comparing and contrasting numbers, but these are the main ones I want to worry about today. Uh, I'm going to write one long inequality statement that shows the relationship between all these numbers. Really, the trick here is I know the numbers in order already from question B. I'm going to put those same numbers in order, except since I am going from least to greatest, I'm going to use the less than symbol in between each one. And that's all there is to it. Uh, so here we did uh, lesson 10. This is module three, lesson 10, writing and interpreting inequality statements involving rational numbers. Uh, we ended up doing it down on C, but this problem walks us through. We took some real world information. Uh, we plotted it on a number line. And in doing so, we figured out the order from least to greatest. Uh, the final step was simply writing it as an inequality using the inequality symbols such as greater than, less than, and so on. Uh, in today's problem, we went from least to greatest, so we used the less than symbol, meaning the number on the left is the least and the number on the right is the greatest.